Okay, hello everyone. What we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a new chapter which is called Graphing and Transforming Functions. Now I think most of you have had some experience with this and so it shouldn't be too difficult once we start getting into the work. But before we actually get into the work, let's lay the foundations for the conceptual understanding of what we mean by families of functions. Okay. Now let's go ahead and just take a look at a most simple form of the function. What I'm going to do is I'm going to call that the parent function. Okay, remember it is the most simple form of a function. So let's just take a look at a couple of examples of what that would look like. Say for example, I'll go ahead and call this the p of x function to represent the parent. It's just going to be x squared. Okay. Here's another one, p of x is equal to the natural log of x. Those are going to be very, very, very simple functions. And notice that these functions over here are completely different. Okay? And there's no relationship whatsoever between these two because one, of course, is a quadratic function and the other one is a logarithmic function. So what we have then are the most simple forms of a function and we're going to call it the parent function. Now what happens is once we start to affect the x and y variables of the parent function with parameters, then what we're going to do is we're going to actually create all these functions that are what I'm going to refer to as children functions. Okay, so say for example, if we have our parent function being the x squared function or the quadratic function, I can go ahead and say that 3 times by the quantity x minus 4 quantity squared minus 1 is still going to be a quadratic function because it is related to the parent function but it's just that there are now parameters that are affecting the x and y values. Okay. Let's take a look at this other example here with the parent function being the natural log of x. If I go ahead and take a look at this child function, f of x equals 1 half natural log of 2x plus 4 minus 6, notice the only thing that we're doing really is affecting x and y with different values, scalar values. Okay. So those are all the parameters. So notice that what the main thing that happens that this function and this function, they are related to their parents. So in other words, this function over here is a quadratic, this function over here is a quadratic as well. This function over here is a logarithmic function, this function here is a logarithmic function as well. Okay, so notice that they are genetically related. Okay, so what we're going to do after that is we're going to take a look at the most general form of a function. There. The most general form of a function is going to include all the parameters that are possible. So all the different ways that you can actually affect the x and y variables of a particular of a particular equation or particular function. Now what we're going to do then is we're going to say that if you include all of the members of the parent of the parent as well as all the children, we then all these people are genetically related. We're going to call that just basically a family of functions, okay? One happy family of functions. So, say for example, if we go ahead and take a look at this here, this again was our quadratic. This was one example of a child. If we include every single child and every single possibility of using parameters, then we come out with this function, this uh, form of the of the quadratic function, which is going to be the most general form and it is going to represent all products or all quadratic functions. And then based upon what A, H, and K are, then of course you're going to have a specific one. So this is the most general form, and hopefully everybody recognizes that form as well. So the last one here is then of course going to be your logarithmic function, your natural log function. And notice that this is the parent, this is one example of a child function. If we were to go ahead and include all of them, this is what the most general form would look like, and this would represent all of the values or all of the different natural log functions that are possible. Okay, so that's basically what's going to happen here when we're talking about the families of functions. Now, the most important thing, hopefully, that all of you recognize is that if you don't know what the parent function looks like, then it's going to be very difficult to go ahead and determine how all of these parameters are affecting it and how they're all related. So the main thing that we're going to have to do then is take a look at the parent functions. We have to know that first, and we have to know that like the back of your hand. 
and there are going to be seven of them that we'll take a look at in class. Okay? But hopefully this gives you a pretty good idea of what's happening conceptually with regards to family of functions and how if you start off with a parent function, you involve parameters, and if you look at the most general case, you've included all the different ways that parameters can affect the variables, and you come out with a family of functions, such that all of the functions are related. Okay, so let's see how we do, and we'll take a look at it as we go, and we'll especially talk about those parent functions. Okay, see you later. Bye.